What can compare with the thrill of a brand new bike? The odds of dying in a bicycle accident are 1 in 4,147. I would ride a bicycle to work every day, but the law requires I use hand signals to indicate turning and stopping, and I'm not comfortable taking my hand off the handlebars for that long. I also hate bicycle lanes. I do have a bicycle, though. I considered walking to work every day, but the odds of dying in a pedestrian accident are 1 in 623. 6.6 .6 times more likely to happen than riding a bicycle and 6.8 times if you factor in the danger of me taking my hands off the handlebars. Statistically speaking, cars are the most dangerous to be in, but that's just because they're the most common vehicle on the road, which skews the data. If I could drive a car, it would be the Chevy Dually. Well, it's a truck, I guess, and even a car, but right now I can't even afford one. The odds of dying in a motorcycle accident are 1 in 802, which is better than walking, but still about 5 times worse than riding a bicycle. And I think it's because motorcycles go faster, and they're heavier, and people that have motorcycles are probably a lot more daring than me. Mopeds are light, they don't go very fast, and they have turning signals. They are more bicycle than motorcycle, and based off a few more factors that I mentioned, I think the odds of me dying on a moped are 1 in 3,405. If you add in the traffic on the road at 4 a.m., my odds are even better. I come to work three hours early every day to avoid traffic, so work gave me my own key when they noticed I would just sit at the door until the janitors came in. I also wear blue every day, whether I'm working or not. Blue is a calming color. It's like the ocean. Always there, just doing the same thing every day. It's also really hard to get mad at the ocean. The, the odds of drowning are 1 in 3,154, so if you drown, it's really just your fault, not the ocean's. I work in the library stapling tests and other papers together at the high school I used to go to. Just for now, though. I had this idea for a new processor, and Intel really liked it. There's still a lot of paperwork and meetings that need to be done, but at the end of it, I should be able to buy a Chevy Dually and a house. A big house. I haven't had time for the meetings because of work. I also haven't told anyone about Intel because I don't like talking about it. the morning ride. It was good. The sunrise was pretty. Yeah, I bet. I wish I could get up to see sunrise every morning, but I love sleep too much. Well, I, uh, I could show you. I take a picture on my iPhone 4 every morning, and even though it's not as good of a quality as an iPhone 6, it still comes out relatively decently if you really want a good, decent picture of the sunrise. I could show you tomorrow. Sounds great. I look forward to seeing them. Hey, are you doing anything December 12th? We have parent-teacher conferences and we're supposed to give a tour of the library. Um, I can check real quick. Um, uh, no, no, I, I think I'm, I'm okay. All right, just let me know when you know for sure. Okay. I've been working with Emma for two years and we get along really well. She smiles a lot more than most people. She wants to be a librarian, so she's very successful with her career considering her first job as being a librarian. 
Emma's the nicest person I've ever met. And she's definitely the top 500,000 nicest people in the world. But I also hate Emma. She's so nice that I don't even know if she really likes spending time with me too, or if she's just being nice. I've been trying to ask her out for a year and 11 months, but I keep messing up. One time I hit my finger with a stapler and I passed out. Elmer? Elmer? I'm gonna call 911. Elmer, stay right there! Today I wrote her a note. Hi, Emma. It should be around 428 right now, so please don't start reading until it's 429 on your phone. Since it's Friday at 429 and the insurance building closes at 4 today, the odds of you seeing an employee of the business walking by in dress pants and a blue shirt are 1 in 5. The odds of the boy who plays guitar under the oak tree on Fridays for 30 minutes before work playing the song Blue Without You are 1 in 3. What's really interesting though is that you're more likely to get struck by lightning twice on your walk home than see his boss in the park. He avoids it because he doesn't want his employees to see him doing his daily exercises. The odds of you seeing him though are 1 in 4 because he does jog by your house at the same time you get home. If you're walking the same speed that we walked the time I fixed your computer. I wrote you this letter because I wanted to know if you wanted to go to dinner with me after work next Thursday. There's an outdoor restaurant called Mia's we could go to. They, d they don't have any dishes with peanuts in them and it's outdoors, so if someone brought peanuts with them it would dissipate quickly. They also said they fill up around 7, so if you get there at 5, it's almost certain that we'll get a table. If you can't go or you don't want to, that's fine. I was just wondering. Thank you, Elmer. Good morning, Emma. Morning, Elmer. Oh my gosh, is this one of the pictures you took? Yeah, it is. Wow, it's beautiful. Do you go to the beach every morning? Uh, well, when I get up really early. Really early? Really, really early. Hey, Elmer, I got your note. Thanks for thinking of me with the peanuts. Oh, yeah. And I wish I could go too, but I have plans Thursday. Oh, uh, no, that's, that's okay. Just, uh, I guess, let me know if your plans change. Yeah, sure. Thank you for calling me. This is Jessica speaking. Uh, yes, this is Elmer Hardy calling Jessica. I'd like to cancel my reservation for Thursday. I will Thanks, bye. Right Okay, sounds perfect. Yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. Yeah, no, I'm free pretty much the whole week. Um, well, except Thursday, I have a date. Mm hmm I met him here. Yeah, no, he's, he's... Um, I'll call you back. The odds of having a table open on Thursday were shrinking quickly after I canceled. I heard Emma on the phone saying her date was back on. Her plans must have been canceled. Well, I didn't have time to wait for her to tell me. Thanks for calling me. This is Jessica. Uh, uh, yes, Jessica, this is Elmer. I'm sorry for calling you again, but uh, I need my reservation back for Thursday. I know there's no guarantee the table's still available, but the odds that someone called in the last three and a half minutes and made reservations for that exact table on the exact same day for the exact same time, although increasing, are incredibly low. Um, let me check. Hardy? That's no problem. Can't wait to see you. Thanks, then. bye. 
I didn't go to work for the rest of the week. I called the office and they were fine with it. I didn't realize all the thinking that had to go into having a successful date. I wanted to get her flowers, but I didn't know what she would do with them during the date. If she brought them to Mia's, I wouldn't be able to get her too many because that would be awkward to hold. And I wasn't sure if Mia's had vases for the flowers anyway. On the other hand, if she kept them in the car, odds were that they were going to die at the end of the date. I could bring my own vase with water to Mia's and put the flowers in that next to my moped, and that would work, but I would have to give her the vase too. Even before all that, I want the flowers to match her dress, which means I would have to either figure out the color of her dress before the date, or I would have to go on the date with her and then tell her I forgot something, run to the store, and then pick out her flowers. I didn't want people to think I stood her up, though, so I decided against that. I ended up getting her one rose. Her favorite color is red, and I figured if she doesn't like that, well, she can pretend to drop it and it won't be a big deal. Her favorite movie is also Beauty and the Beast, but I don't think that would make her like it more. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I'm sorry you no, thought no, 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 no. It's it's okay. Hey, do you need a hand? Uh, no, no, it's not necessary. But but thank you. No, do you? Uh, look, I'm gonna leave this here. I promise I'll pick it up. Okay. The odds of a girl like that going on a date with me were literally one in one million. However, the odds of the moped breaking down that day were one in five. I never really thought someone like Emma Belrose was going to say yes to the date. But she was the first person I wanted to test the odds with, and it was worth the risk. I think sometimes risks are good. Hi, Emma. I have a meeting today. I can't come in. Yesterday was my last day, too. Thanks for everything, Elmer. Oh,